As a college student who does content creation for a part-time job and social media, having an organized minimal productive desk is very important in my day-to-day -day life. So in this video, I'm going through my minimal budget productive college student tech desk setup 2021 edition. Let's get right into it. My desk i actually built this time i actually did a diy which is kind of crazy and for my desk board i actually have the same exact desk board from my last video which is the desk board from japanese ikea named nitori and it is a cypress wood 120 centimeter width desk board it is very light very you know sturdy it's pretty good and to be honest for 50 bucks i think this thing is totally worth it with this desk board i combine it with the desk leg from flexi spot which is the flexi spot en1 legs and this is one of the i think cheapest option when it comes to like a electrical standing desk that have a memorial like you know number pads for your heights not gonna lie i was low-key struggling when i was building this desk with my friend and it took us around two hours because we have to like you know dig a hole into the desk and stuff but it came out pretty clean i really like it and it is very useful and although this desk is not like super wide desk i mean for me for this you know college not college apartment but for my apartment this is totally worth it the size is like just right these flexi spot en1 standing desk ended up costing me around 260 bucks but i do think this is a well worth of investment because i do like to you know work while standing and i usually ended up you know working for 10 to 12 hour per day on a desk for my monitor i use a dell ultra sharp u2520 q or u2520 dr in japan this display is 25 inch ips 1440p with great screen brightness and beautiful color range of HDR 400. I think this monitor itself is very budget friendly monitor for a creator who does like video editing, photo editing, and illustrations and stuff. I mean, no, this display does not have like crazy 144 Hertz or a 4K or 8K display and stuff, but it is very color accurate and it is very bright. So for people who does like color grading and like typical editing stuff, I do think this display is for sub 400 bucks. It's totally worth the investment. And especially for me, I don't really Really have a huge desk so having a you know relatively smaller monitor than like you know 27 inch is actually well suited on this desk setup also this monitor is capable of USB-C connection so I can live that one cable life using the USB-C to charge my MacBook and also use as my display port for my monitor stand I use a cheap $20 monitor arm from Iris Oyama which is a Japanese brand and this is all made of steel and it is working pretty well speaking of MacBook I do use a 2019 MacBook Pro 15 inch with Intel Core i9, Radeon Pro 560X graphic card, and 16 gigs of RAM. Especially for me, I do all my editing on Final Cut Pro, so it is well optimized with MacBooks, so I don't really want it to have like, you know, desktop PC or Windows. And when it comes to like Adobe software, I only use Lightroom and Photoshop, so this MacBook is actually working very well for me, and I've been using every single day, and I have no problem with it but I still hate butterfly keyboards. If you guys liking this video right now, please hit the like button so YouTube Senpai will notice me and blesses me with the algorithm and help this video reach out to more people, so please hit the like button. For my laptop stand, I use a Amazon basic laptop stand and it only cost me around 12 bucks. And this thing is totally worth it because this is all made of like aluminum and it does feel like high quality. However, they take a lot of real estate in my desk and I don't really like about that part, but it's 12 bucks. I can't really complain of it. In terms of audio, I don't have any speaker on my desk because I don't really want it to annoy my neighbor because my apartment have a relatively thin wall, but I do like to invest into a good pair of active noise cancellation headphones. The headphone I am using is the active noise cancellation headphone from Jabra, which is the Jabra Elite 85H. I love this headphone and this headphone does provide a great sound quality for pretty good price. For your college student or people who lives with roommates or have a annoying neighbor, investing into good active noise cancellation headphone can like literally change your life. It will make your life way more productive and way more easy, just trust me. And right next to my desk, I have a headphone hanger to hang my headphone and I love this thing because it does fold up when I'm not using it and when it's folded up, it looks pretty clean. When it comes to peripherals, I use a MX Mouse 2S from Logitech for my mouse. I think that's like the best mouse ever. And I use a Keychron K6 
6 from my wireless keyboard. This is a mechanical keyboard and it is very small and compact so I do can secure a lot of real estate on my desk. Under my display I have two chargers. Number one is Apple Watch and for my Apple Watch charger I do have like this aluminum stand for my Apple Watch charger and I use my Apple Watch as like my you know desk clock as well so this is totally working for me and I think this is a well investment for your desk if you have an Apple Watch. And another charger is a Qi wireless charger from Moshi and Moshi kindly sent me this product and I absolutely love this. This is an auto Q wireless charging pad from Moshi and I absolutely love this charging pad because it is capable of 15 watt fast charging and the Qi coil itself is very wide so I don't usually miss my phone for like wireless charging on this Qi pad. Also the fabric finish on this Qi pad is very you know kind of warm and cozy as well so I do like this charging pad a lot. For my desk lamp I use a desk lamp that goes on top of my monitor and this is a brand called Balsius. Balsius I don't really know how to pronounce their name but this thing is totally worth it in my my opinion because when I had desk lamp it was like kind of using my desk space but since this goes on top of the monitor it doesn't use any of my space of my desk and what can I say this does not affect any of the color or brightness on my monitor and this does well lit my desk so I do really like this lamp and I do highly recommend for people who are looking for like you know desk lamp in general I mean your monitor will not look you know kind of sleek and slim but it is totally functional and it does keep you productive as well so I do highly recommend this and right next to my desk, I do have a mic arm from Rode, which is a Rode PSA1. And I usually use this for like my camera mic. I don't use it for like Zoom call or anything, but this is totally functional and this is totally worth it every penny. I used to be a huge video game nerd back in the old days. And even now I do still play video game here and there. And I do have a Nintendo Switch on my desk. And with my Nintendo Switch, I do have a GameCube controller hub. So I can connect my GameCube controller to play Smash Bros with my homies. I do play a lot of Smash Bros. And I guess that's like one of the only video game that I play now but I play a lot of Smash Bros and video game cube controller is a must. For my office chair I use a Felix King office chair and I love this office chair because this for the budget they have a lower back support and net it like a mesh backrest which is so awesome it is very comfy and it does move around so it keeps my lower back very healthy because I do struggle a lot with lower back pain. In terms of office chair I do highly recommend you guys to have like a net it backrest or like a mesh back rest with lower back support so you can have like you know less damage to your lower back because lower back pain is not cool at all and I do struggle a lot. Also I always have my iPad Air 4 with me on my desk because when it comes to like ideas or like you know kind of whiteboard type of action I always do on my iPad Air 4 and some graphic stuff for my video I use my iPad as well so having an iPad is totally useful and I also can use this as like my you know third display so which is always cool. With all these tech gadgets from my cable management I literally put a cable cage under my desk and just like shove everything in there because I'm not good at cable management at all and having like a cable cage is awesome because all you need to do is like chug your cables and from like you know top angle it doesn't look bad at all it looks super organized and and I feel like super organized too so I'm totally happy about this cable management but if you're a cable management freak you will be very mad at me. I'm so sorry. But anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to see my Galaxy S21 real day in the life video, I'll put the video right here. And if you guys want to see my most recent video, I'll put the video right here. And I will put some like random vlog right here so you guys can check me out. And I'll put my channel right here. Anyway guys, I hope you guys have a great day. My name is Peace Gates. You guys already know. Peace out guys.